It's been a long two and a half weeks for the family of William Tanker. The 31 year old was a competitive polo player who died in a fatal crash on I-76 over Lake Milton last month. His dog Chewy and three of his horses were killed as well, but seven survived. A local family is caring for the animals and giving Tankard's mother and girlfriend a place to stay. In the morning, they'll begin the long journey back home to South Carolina. We were back here probably the first four nights, uh, 18 hours a day. It's been a long road to recovery for the seven horses hurt in the crash. All had severe head trauma and multiple leg injuries. But after 18 days of meticulous care, with treatment plans organized on a whiteboard in the stable, all will be rideable again. And I've seen every stitch put in, and looking at them now, I, I would have never, ever, ever guessed that, that they would have looked this good. The Grupert family has been caring for the animals in Canfield. 25 people a day stop by to walk and clean the horses, drop off medical supplies, even feed the volunteers. And they're doing this for people they don't know. You know, they, they, these people live 12 hours from here and, and they, they, they just stepped up. It's, it's a testament to the area. The Polo community is truly a family rallying around their own. It's a hard goodbye for everyone who sacrificed the last few weeks to help give these horses a second chance. Connections all over the world that I would have never have thought were made because of this wonderful young man that lost his life. William Tankard left behind his mother, Sissy Snow, and girlfriend, Samira Wernland. They've been staying with the Grubert since his death and didn't want to talk on camera. But his mom told me this whole experience has been enlightening and restorative. He was just an up-and-coming pro uh, and, and just super liked in, you know, in the polo world. Uh, and and he's, he's touched a lot of people and he's going to continue through this. Now the drive back will take 12 hours and start at sunrise tomorrow. The horses will travel in an air ride semi. The women will follow in a car straight through to South Carolina. They'll be stabled and cared for at a farm where Tankard's mother works. And I talked to her again tonight. She says healing the horses is helping heal them as well as they deal with losing her son at the same yeah, time. Yeah, that's, that's a tough situation. Yeah. You can remember them in your thoughts and prayers as Absolutely. well. Absolutely.